I'm telling you by the Spirit of God that you already died with Him and you resurrected with Him, therefore you have a new body. Your body is not waiting to resurrect in heaven after you die. That new body is not waiting. It shows up in heaven and on earth. See, Jesus Christ resurrected on the earth. So that plant we're talking about that was sown into the soil as a seed, it was not sown as the plant. It was sown a seed, but when it comes out of the earth, plant after Jesus had taken all of this keys to hell and hate is made a public show of the enemy, gave us all this authority as we were rightfully following behind him. He resurrected on the third day on the earth. See, I want you to remember Paul was telling us that it is buried as a seed. It has a different form, but when it comes up from the ground, it has a different body. It is not the same body that was buried that comes up. So when Jesus resurrected, it was a different body he had because the seed came out as a plant. And scripture says he appeared to many people. Right when the seed is buried, nobody can see, right? He was buried, concealed, a big stone was placed on top of the tomb. It was done. He was invisible again. He was buried. That's the process of the seed. But when he resurrected, when he came up from that grave, he was visible to all. Same process with you and me. The seed resurrects here on earth. That tree is supposed to grow here. Take on that new nature and multiply here. And you ask me, but Nadia, I don't see it, right? I don't see the transformed body. Because Paul was saying that the body of the seed is different and the body of the plant is different. In 1 Corinthians 15, but I don't see it here. Right? But Paul saw this. Paul saw this in 2 Corinthians 5.16. He said, Therefore from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no longer. Therefore if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. You resurrected with him and became a whole new creation. Because when they knew Jesus, they knew him in the flesh. Even when Jesus did all the miracles, even when he did all the healings, multiplied bread for them, fishes, you name it, they still saw him in the flesh. But after resurrection, everything changed. And you and I follow the same pattern. And Paul could see it now. That even though we look like we're still carrying the same flesh, we have been changed. The nature of the body is different from the constructs of the seed totally different. Now you and I have the ability to bear much fruit and multiply because we died with him. Because the seed that is you and I died. That is the old things that have passed away as he says in 2 Corinthians 5 17. Therefore if anyone is in Christ, see it's in Christ that you died. It's in Christ that you resurrect. Therefore he is a new creation. All things passed away. All that was taking place in the grave. When you died, it passed away. Behold, all things have become new. In the name of Jesus, we will have the same eyes that Paul now had when he said. He no longer considers people in the flesh anymore because he sees that the old things are passed away and they are new bodies now. They are new creations now in Christ Jesus. And all the spirit realm sees, they see who is a new creation. And if our spiritual eyes are open to also see, we will no longer consider each other in the flesh. Oh, look at that one. Her nose is this way. Oh, look at that one. She doesn't have money to buy shoes. Oh, look at that one. She wasn't brought up right. We will not look at people in the flesh any longer. We will look at them in the spirit. Because Paul decided to look at every man in the spirit. When they are in Christ Jesus, the seed has died and now it has become a plant and is bearing fruit. It is carrying a different glory. The glory of the seed is no match for the glory of the plant. That is why when somebody dies as a Christian, Jesus will say they slept. Because there's no death. Death has been conquered. And the spirit realm knows it. That's why the enemy comes to steal the seed. Because he has an idea of what the plant will look like from the seed of God. You and I must change the way we think. You and I must not conform any longer. Like Paul said, I no longer look at people in the flesh anymore. 
you and I must not conform to looking at people or even yourself in the flesh anymore because you have resurrected. When the sower became the seed, you became that seed planted in this ground. 1 Corinthians 15 45, and so it is written the first man, Adam, became a living being. That is the seed, the last Adam. He comes as the man, the one that takes that seed and dies to it, puts that seed to death. He's called the last Adam. He comes as the last Adam because he takes the very last of humanity, all the sin of humanity, all the failings, and nails it to the cross. He is buried and he resurrects life-given spirit. The last Adam became a life-given spirit. You and I resurrected with him into a life that is beyond the earth. We are here on earth, yet we are also seated in heavenly places. The life we have is beyond the earth. Don't confine yourself to the earth anymore. Because when that plant comes out from the soil and it follows the path of the master, it is right where the master is. In the same place with the same authority because the master gives to him. Again, John 12 from verse 26. Whoever serves me must follow me. Keep serving him. Keep following him. And where I am, my servant also will be. The life-giving spirit pulls you from being a seed in the likeness of the first Adam to being a plant. Because the life-giving spirit in that seed, on that cross, through that grave, that life that came to be is what you now carry. So you're resurrected. You are in heaven right now. That is what Jesus said. That is what is. But you're also here, bearing much fruit. I tell you, if you wait till death, in the natural, waiting to become a plant in heaven, there is no multiplying in heaven. The multiplication is here on earth. That is why you already died. And now you're a full-grown plant. And you keep multiplying 30%, 60%. The nature of the seed is different from the nature of the plant. So right now, you all have resurrected Christ Jesus. Right now, you all carry a different glory, a different nature. Ask the Lord, I want to see by the Spirit who I am. When you pray, when the power of God comes upon you, when you hear the tone of your voice change, when you feel your body move differently, when you feel that authority, that is what the life-giving spirit has given you. It is yours. Ephesians 2 verse 9 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that's not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. This is a gift to you and I. It's no need to boast. It's a gift. It's been given to you. This is what it means to follow the master. This is what it means to be that saved that dies and resurrects in order to multiply and have many seeds. As he is, so are we in this world. Father, we thank you because the entrance of your word brings light and understanding. Breathe upon this message, breathe upon the scriptures, breathe upon the memories of everything that we've learned tonight and let it be living, let it be our life. The authority that comes with following the sower becomes seed to the very end. Lord, we come as it has been written concerning us in the volume of the book. And we say, God, that our life is not ours anymore. We no longer live for ourselves because we've been crucified with you. This life we live is no longer us that lives, but Christ lives in us. Let us be the expression of the sower becomes seed. Let the plant that he has made of us, let it soar, let it grow, let it thrive, let it be a blessing, let it multiply, let it move in authority, let it squash the darkness, let it fulfill every plan, and every decree of heaven. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth because this beings that sit in heaven have the ability to say, and to decree and to pray this prayer that Jesus, the sower becomes seed, taught us. We pray, God. 
let your will be done here on earth yes. as it is in heaven. Same authority, same power, same rulership, same as the one who we call Master, Lord, Savior. We purge out every unnecessary teachings, programmings, Lord, even from the bloodline. We purge out all the things that we have known, Lord. We unlearn them today. And we ask, oh God, that the image that you have made us to be in heaven, let us see it. Let us believe it above every other thing we see ourselves live here on earth because we know that we have been resurrected. This life has got to be different and tonight we contend for it to be seen and with our words we declare that we multiply 30%, 60%, 100% for your glory, for your kingdom in Jesus' mighty name.